What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Themes and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use buttons from the WordPress native editor to create sections like these ones on your posts, on your pages using only the native WordPress editor so no need to install any plugin, no need to install a special theme all WordPress offers by default gonna be used to this guide but before I can continue, please have a moment to click into the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much it helps us because it brings daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many, many, many more topics in your use internets on your site's favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is locate where you want to apply a button. For example, imagine that you did write a post and in this post you share about a company, you share about some product that you would like to, the person goes to some landing page from this content. So after this content right here, I would like to link the Visual Moto blog, for example, and instead of just clicking into the button right here, let me grab the Visual Moto blog link. So instead of just linking to the post right here, like this, I would like to apply a button. How to do this? I'm gonna click into the plus button, can be this one that used to appear between contents or into this one right here, okay? So add block. And from here, I'm gonna search for button. Right here, we have buttons. And here is our button. The very first thing to do is apply some text. So view or block. Now, you're gonna click into this part right here, this part right here, to link or using Ctrl K. So our button is already linked, okay? Let me update this post. So we already have a button, but we can customize this button. For example, we can change it. The fill or outline. So here is two examples of buttons that we can play with. We can change the alignment of the button, for example, align it to the center, between eatings, okay? We can change a lot of things right here. Let me keep this to the left. We can align to button, to tilt, to middle, according to the section that you are, for example, if it's a block, okay? So it's more used in pages, but in posts, gonna be useful in some cases. So what else we can do? If we click into this button, can you see that into the right side of our screen, we did see a new section called block. Right here, we can play a lot with the buttons. For example, we can change the styles of the buttons. The outline, the default, we can change the text color or the background color in the case that you need. Here is the layout that we got. We can change the typography to small, middle, large, extra large. We can change from here, in the case that you need. We can change the border of our buttons, in the case that you want to create our rounded borders. We can still change some styles. The widget settings, in the case that you want, we can change the widget of the button. For example, imagine that you would like that the button have 100% of the possible widget of the post. So here is the results we got. And this is our button, a quite big one, but maybe useful in a lot of cases. Imagine that you are into a landing page, for example, buttons are really, really important. You can apply this exactly same thing into pages, posts, widget sections and their appearance according to the theme they are using, but the button block works pretty much in the same way independently of the theme that you are using, the plugins, it has no needs for it because it's a WP native feature, okay? So it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below. Just before I can continue, we can still use the advanced tab to apply some HTML anchor for it. So in the case that I want to create a one page navigation, we can apply some anchor. We can apply additional CSS classes right here to call some presets into CSS if you know how to code, okay? But it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click into the update button after doing your change and it is. Don't forget to check out our Boris WordPress plugin in order to gain widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site on the native editor or on Elementor and even pre-built up sites that can import with a single click. Moreover, in the case that are in need of the best free WordPress team, just go to WP.org or on your WordPress dashboard appearance 
themes, add new, search for Yanzu, click on Style and Activate it, it's completely free. And in the case that you want to save your time doing your site, count on our full support, unlock access to our templates library, premium icon packs, premium blocks, and many, many more pro features, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and go premium. And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.